university, or unlike our university here in India, generally. <coughs> so within that framework, okay, this sort of political economy, how do we manage or how do we develop research priorities, research strengths? These are discussions you will have today, for sure. I'm, I'm, I'm very sure over lunch and dinner and so on. <coughs> One of the things I'm very careful to avoid, and this is a very real tension for me as a research manager, my, my, my role here at Jindal Global Business School is Vice Dean, I oversee the research side of things in the, um, in the business school. But I'm very careful to avoid a particular tension, both for me, but also for my colleagues. And that's to avoid the sort of I guess the negative um, <clears throat> implications of what, of what people call audit culture, you know, this sort of governance aspect, trying to avoid that. But that, that's a real tension. That's a real tension we all feel as um, managers, but also scholars. I, I play those roles at the same time and it causes great tension. So these are things we need to talk through and work through it ourselves. One of the things um, I think that I've seen um, <clears throat> I don't just mean in sheer numbers of papers, I also mean in terms of the quality of research coming out from um, institutionalised national frameworks of, of research and how they have then translated through the university. I've seen increased quantity, yes, and sometimes that's seen as a negative, or oh, we just go for the lowest common denominator, but I've also seen raised quality some of the perverse outcomes, by contrast, that I've seen, and these are well known, I mean I'll just talk about three of them that I see and I, I try to avoid, I try and tell my colleagues to avoid them as well, this phenomenon of salami slicing. And we have a major research project, we just slice it and dice it as finely as we can to extract maximum value. But that's at the, res at the expense of putting together a holistic picture that could probably, if we talk about publications, be published in a higher venue. There's also the, uh, I mean again, let's not kid ourselves, research is a competitive endeavour. <clears throat> We're competing with others around the world to, to, uh, to help solve a piece of the puzzle that others around the world are also working on. And there's this tendency to rush to print ahead of when results are final or complete or as final or as complete as possible. <clears throat> One of the other perverse outcomes I have seen from the Australian system and which I think would universities should be careful to avoid is that of hiring this what people call the star player syndrome purely for the, the effect of, okay, we need to drop their publications into our national audit frameworks. Now, it can work the other way as well, because a star player can bring expertise, insight, inspiration, but merely for the sake of research instrumentality or fulfilling research criteria in terms of um, publication lists should be avoided. I'm going, to avoid, uh, I'm going to wrap up. I wish you all the best. I think this conference seems to be, looks to be a fascinating day of discussion and debate, ideas. Good luck to you all, and I hope to chat with you sometime over lunch and dinner as well. Thank you. Thank you, Lagna. Um, I now request Lieutenant General Dr. Rajesh Kocher to please deliver his address. The founding Vice Chancellor, Dr. C. Rajkumar, Professor Thomas My Michael, Prof. Professor Kalyani Unkule, Professor Lakna Jaisinghe, the delegates for the Asian Conference, students, both national and international. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning. Today I am go going to speak to you on the very important topic of the role of universities in capacity building 
within policy and business to sectors. We at the General Institute of Leadership Development and Executive edu Education look at it uh, from a lens of relevance and rigor and take executive education as a lever in shaping practice and research based on GILDI's framework. The General Institute of Leadership Development and Executive Education which I head at the OB General Global University is one of the three capacity building institutes which conducts programs for working professionals. These programs are designed to meet the immediate need and make an impact on public and private corporations and governments in the area of upskilling manpower for different seniority levels across domestic and international sectors. It is always said that a good teacher may not be a good researcher, but a good researcher is always a good teacher. It means research and education are twins. Our respected Vice Chancellor in his recent address at the World Economic Forum emphasized on the need of latest cutting edge knowledge, research and ability to innovate in value. The vision of the General Institute of, Global, uh, of Leadership Development and Executive Education, that is GILDI, is to draw upon the best of the intellectual resources available at the OP General Global University along with its eight schools as mentioned by the Vice Chancellor. In collaboration with its national and international academic partners with a view to promoting leadership development and executive education within corporations, government agencies, intergovernment, public sector and non-government organizations, regulatory bodies and other institutions. In a short span of five years, we were founded in 2013, we have trained more than 4,500 officers. We have been a front runner in capacity building and nation building. Another feather in the hat is the completion of the prestigious World Bank project for training civil servants of the government of Afghanistan after competition with various universities and top B schools of India. We have successfully conducted mid-carrier training programs for the Indian police service officers including a foreign leg at Cambridge University. We have delivered programs on government policies and governance for top-notch officers of the government. We hosted the first program in India on utility, utility regulations and strategy for the regulatory bodies of India. We have had various MOUs with various universities, the Indian Army, the Indian Air Force, the Power Grid Corporation, universities in Bangladesh, universities in Austria, the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy at the National University of Singapore and the AIT Thailand. For the matter, we, we look forward to the delegates in this uh, conference to collaborate with us in the, in the aspects of uh, executive education and I look, look forward to meeting all of you during the networking section in the evening and I'm sure we will be able to have certain common grounds for collaboration. We have the competencies and resources for training on traditional modern topics like leadership, stress management, emotional intelligence, design thinking, public policy, public finance, business analytics, risk management, women empowerment, and so on and so forth. We have done more than 16 international programs for the government of West Bengal, government of Afghanistan, government of Bangladesh, government of Orissa, and the National Police Academy. In conclusion, I take help from the professor what Professor Rajkumar spoke at Davos. He cited the example of JGU in India as a stellar example of how corporate philanthropy coupled with the notions of academic freedom and institutional autonomy has helped India see the emergence of a new not-for-profit university within a short span of time. It is noteworthy that the JGU which was promoted just a decade back by the founding chancellor Mr. Naveen Jindal has led the emergence of a new generation of private and philanthropic universities in India. You would recall that I spoke about walking sticks. I borrowed this from Fritz Rothlisberger. This synergy between practice and research was well articulated by Fritz Rothlisberger in 1977. Building on John Dewey's notions of learning by doing and Kurt Lewin's observation that there is nothing as practical as a good theory, Rothlisberger suggested that a theory was like a walking stick. Well-developed theory could help managers more effectively make their way in rough strategic and organization terrain. Rothless Berger also observed that interaction with the phenomena helped in the development of better walking sticks. And as a professional capacity building institute, which is a part of OP Gildan Global University, 
we continuously aspire to couple research rigor with managerial relevance. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Wish you a wonderful conference ahead and a wonderful stay at the OP General Global University. Jai Hind. Well, um, we're nearing the end of this inaugural session. It only remains for me to thank our, uh, thank my wonderful colleagues who spent their precious time with us this morning. Um, I also want to thank uh, the faculty and students of NEISSR Nagaland, uh, who will be spending much of this conference today um, with us, and uh, especially thank Dr. Samrat Sinha, who has facilitated their partnership, uh, their, their, their participation in this event today. Um, I want to once again welcome and thank students from Indonesia, from Vietnam, and from Afghanistan who are with us here, and uh, hope you're enjoying your stay at JGU so far, and look forward to questions and comments from you. Uh, feel free to participate um, throughout the rest of this day. Um, thank you to the delegates who are with us this morning. Um, we'll take a two-minute breather now because some of the student groups have different activities planned. Um, and then we will immediately jump into the uh, first session of the of the morning. Um, so, so the good news is we started late, but we finished early, so we will start the next session twenty minutes early. Take a break. Okay. Let's. Yeah. Hi, I'm Navi. All you don't know, upload it. Ma'am, I'll just keep letting you know. Hello, ma'am. Hi. Ah. Oh, you let me. Ma'am, I'll tell you. No, 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 ma'am. Because there's no more. There's no idea. Ma'am? 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 Ma